suffering in my life started very, very early because when my mom was born, my biological father abandoned her. And then two years later, she met someone that was willing to be our father and taking care of us. Everything looked fine until I reached the age of 10. My name is Kezia, I am 26 years old. I was born in Angola, Southwest Africa. And from what I remember growing up as a child, I used to go to church. Uh, I was born in a so-called Christian family with Bible standards. And my mom was that mom that used to teach us the word of God and making sure that we would apply that. So, from what I remember, I was very talkative, uh, friendly, made a lot of friends in church and even yeah, in school and so on. Suffering in my life started very, very early because when my mom was born, my biological father abandoned her. And so she had to endure pregnancy by herself. And then two years later, she met someone that was willing to be our father and taking care of us and making her promises that he would be a great man for her and for, um, for her children. Um, and everything looked fine until I reached the age of 10. So when I became 10 years old, I started being sexually abused at home. And after that, I remember not being more of who I was. Basically, the talkative, the friendly, the, the happy girl was gone. And um, that endured for another two years. And for some reason, I managed to push all the shame, all the, the guilt, or the sadness that I was feeling to the back of my mind, and then leave as if that never happened to me. When uh, I turned 18, I came to Canada for school. And I remember I was watching, I was watching something on YouTube and then um, a story, a similar story popped up. And so I, I saw myself in that, but I was still living in denial as if that didn't happen to me. It's just something that my mind is creating. But then for some reason, it never stopped. It was just, I, I, I kept having the, the flashbacks of it until I realized that, yeah, that is not a dream. That really happened. And so I think that's when the Lord started to invite me for healing, but I didn't want to because I was angry. Um, I was disappointed. It was a lot of shame in that, carrying a lot of discontentment. And uh, I didn't want to have anything to do with the Lord anymore because my question would always be the same. God, where were you when I was going through this? I, I used to question the Lord. And I think it was through my questions and uh, finding some of the answers in the Word. That was the thing that helped me to understand the heart of God towards me. Because my questions would be all, always the same. God, where were you? God, why me? God, you say you are caring, you are loving, you are God. I grew up knowing these things, that you are caring, you are loving, you care for people. Why so much suffering in my life for something that I didn't ask for, for something that I don't think I deserve? And um, I think there are two, two passages that really helped me back then, and they are still helping me now. When Jesus says, come to me, 
O oh, you weary, and I will give you rest. It's like there is a place in God where we, as children of God, can find rest, we can find peace. There is a place of harmony where we don't have to deal with our own struggles. The heart of the Father is there for us. And the other one is, I think it's Psalm 46. It says like, uh, the Lord is my the Lord is my strength and refuge. Yeah, um, a helper in times of need, in times of trouble. So every time, I, I realized that very early in the healing process, every time I needed, I mean, if I was feeling emotionally down and I needed a support of somehow, I knew where to go to the Word. In the healing process, I can actually replace, you know, and replace the, the lies from the enemy with the Word of God. The enemy comes and tells us, you were abused or you were abandoned when you were a child, but the Word of God says, he'll never leave me, he'll never forsake me. The enemy comes and says, oh, you don't have a father, he is actually the father for the fatherless. It's like um, these happen to your life and you have to endure it and live as, as if you're not worthy of love. But then you have a God that died on the cross for you. The cross is a place of, of new beginnings. It's a place where God is calling us to restart. It is possible. It takes faith, it takes trust, but it is possible indeed. And the Lord Jesus, is, He keeps calling us for the same thing, like, come to me, I will give you rest. I will give you peace. You know, I, I am a refuge in, in times of trouble. That's our Lord, that's our Father. I am with you.